you're going to want to get clear on what it is that you want first. It's going to be a lot harder to decide on a bar service if you don't know what it is that you need or what it is that you want. Hi, I'm Brittany, owner of Milk and Honey Bartending. And you're watching Milk and Honey TV. Okay, so real quick, I realized like, some people don't know what Milk and Honey is or who Milk and Honey is. I don't really know how to say it, but Milk and Honey Bartending is a sustainable and eco-friendly mobile bartending service. And we specialize in organic craft cocktails for private parties and events um, really all over Georgia. We're based in Atlanta, but we provide service all of, all of Georgia to all of Georgia, to all of Georgia and beyond. And I say beyond because we do go to other cities and states for service on occasion. So you're having an, you're having, you're having, you're having an event, you're having an event, you're having an event and you are looking for a bar service. You're having it probably at a venue where they require bartenders. You are having it at your house where you feel like bartenders would be a nice touch. Whatever the reason is, whatever the case may be, you're on the search for a bar service. I put together like a list of five things I feel like would be really helpful in um, narrowing down your search. At, it's 2022. Um, at this point, there are a lot of mobile bar attending services to choose from. When I first started Milk and Honey, it was like, I don't know. It didn't really seem like it was a whole lot of mobile bartenders around at the time. This was like back in 2014, 2015. There could have very well been a significant number of bar services, but I didn't know of any. I didn't see any, and I certainly didn't see any that were doing what Milk and Honey does. But here we are, fast forward now in 2022. We are looking at a variety of different cocktail catering, uh, beverage catering, mobile bar attending services around, really around the globe. I don't really, I mean, I know more about like what happens in the US than anywhere else. I mean, I, I follow a few that are like in Australia and the UK, I don't know. But in any event, you are now at the point you're looking for a bar service and you're not sure what it is to, to look for. Here are five things I think would be helpful in narrowing, 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 narrow, narrowing, narrow, narrow, narrowing down your search, girl. All right, one, make a list. Make a list of your event details. Make a list of what it is that you need and make a list of the things that matter to you. So when it comes to writing down the details of your event, the more specific you can be, the better. Where is it gonna be? Is it gonna be at a public or private venue? A, a public or private venue space where they you know, specifically do venue, or <laughs> where they specifically do private parties and events, or is it gonna be somewhere like at home or an office space or, um you know even a clubhouse if you live in like an apartment complex knowing where your party or event is going to be is going to be really helpful when it comes to deciding on a bar service because um depending on where you have it in some cases it may be a requirement for your bar service to have certain credentials um like a business license for example in a lot of cases i've seen where people will you know put their money into a venue and then turn around and see like, oh, I need a bar service or oh, the bar service that I already hired can't work this venue because they don't have the things that are required by this venue. So you, you wanna have an understanding, you wanna get clear on where you're going to have it first. Decide on where you're having it first and then depending on where you're having it, then you can kind of go from there in deciding on a bar service. Um, I'm gonna get more into that moving forward, but like those are just some of the reasons why you want to make sure your venue is decided on before you decide on a bar service. 
the time. What time will your event start? What time will what time what time will will your event end? And then during that time frame, do you want the bar service the entire time? Do you want them there from the time that your guests get there up until the time that they leave? Do you want the bar service only there for a few hours? That's something you're gonna also want to get clear on. Your number of guests. How many people are you expecting? Who are your guests? Is it family and friends? Is it colleagues? Your style of service. Is it gonna be casual or is it gonna be formal? Are you gonna do full open bar? Are you gonna do signature cocktails? Are you gonna do beer and wine service only? These are things that you wanna think through before you go contacting bartending services. And then your personal needs, your preferences. Do you want to provide everything yourself? Do you wanna provide all the mixers, garnishes, cups, straws, uh, barware? All that stuff do you want to provide everything and then you just simply need bartenders to show up and serve or would you prefer a bar service that handles all those details for you and you just simply enjoy your party additional preferences like things that matter to you um do you care about ingredients for example milk and honey we're all about like fresh cocktail ingredients that's one of the main reasons that makes us so popular one of the main reasons not the only reason but one of the main reasons for sure do you care about how your bar looks do you care about aesthetics and you know presentation do you want to support a black owned business do you want to support a women owned business do you want to support a veteran owned business like these are things that you can write down and make part of your list and it makes it very easy to like narrow down like who to choose okay and then once you have your event details your needs your preferences all down on a piece of paper it's quite simple really you just shop within that preference yeah just google search you know black owned mobile bartending services or craft cocktail catering or I don't know bartending services in my area or something like that all right so now that you have that part figured out let's say you have a list of bartenders and you're still like okay well I don't know who to choose like the pricing is pretty much the same oh I guess I didn't mention budget should have mentioned that all right so rewind rewind I forgot to mention budget because that is a obviously a major 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 factor <laughs> you're gonna want to get clear on your budget because i mean there's a significant difference based on how much you can actually spend so based on your preferences your needs your wants your desires your event details you gotta factor in your budget because i mean obviously it's gonna take some money to hire these people right now I, I don't know i feel like i should maybe mention like a range i can't really mention a range because it just depends on the bar service that you're gonna hire like you can literally find a bartender that does mobile bartending as like a side hustle like they have a main job and because that's how i started like they have like a main job and then they do like mobile bartending on the side whether it's just to literally just make extra money or if they're just starting out on their bar services like they're just starting out and building their their company their business and you'll probably find um someone an individual specifically um that has like more i guess affordable rates i don't affordable it just depends on what it is that you want and need but there's a, a huge difference in hiring like an individual that does like mobile bartending on the side that's maybe building their business or whatever the case may be in comparison to hiring an actual business because um one thing that i realized that some people don't seem to understand and it, it's more so not really it's more so like individuals so like people that are having like private parties so people that are having like you know birthday parties at their home or a wedding those are the types of people that don't really seem to understand why there's a in some cases a significant cost difference um in um in comparing you know an individual and um an actual company an actual business because with a business there comes business expenses so you're not just hiring somebody that's just gonna show up, make drinks, and then keep all the profit. Like that's not that's not how it works. It really just depends on you, what it is that you want. If you're fine with just hiring a, 
you know, an individual person, I don't mean to say it like that, like just hire, but like if you are wanting to just simply hire an individual that can just show up to your party, make drinks and possibly clean up, I'm not really sure. Um, everybody does it differently. Or if you're wanting like a full on reliable business, because that's the thing too. In some cases, like when you hire individual people, like you are looking in some cases, in some cases, this is not all people. So if you're an individual bartender watching this video, please, I'm not talking about everybody. <laughs> Cause I was once upon a time that person where it was just me and I was providing bartending services as I built my business. But I say that to say, when it comes to hiring like an individual person, you are walking kind of a fine line of maybe being canceled on if they have like a better opportunity somewhere else, or it, it could be a number of different reasons, even emergencies. I mean, uh, things happen, you know, I mean, things happen. So in that case, I mean, you're looking at, you know, that that possibility of not having a bartender at the last minute for whatever reason. Anyway, now we are looking at things that I think everybody should consider when hiring a bar service. One of the things that I think that really go overlooked when it comes to mobile bartenders or bar really just bartending in general is the liability. It's a lot of things that can happen when people are drinking. So a major factor is the liability. It is my suggestion. Any sort of responsible serving certificate. Um, this is not a requirement. Most people don't even realize or know that this exists. Um, but there is tips, certifications, there is serve safe certifications there's i, I want to say there's abc something something i don't know they don't have it we don't have it in georgia to my understanding i don't really know but i do know that there is tips and serve safe alcohol cert certificates ultimately it's just really about like uh how to identify if somebody's intoxicated what to do if somebody's intoxicated ensuring people aren't like leaving and driving um and understand how alcohol affects the body, what to do if somebody's like super intoxicated, just stuff like that. So, I mean, I personally think that um, it is important to have, not necessarily the certificate, I'm not necessarily talking about cert certificate, I'm more so talking about the knowledge and understanding and you know, what it is that the bartender is doing because the last thing that you want is no offense to anybody, but some sloppy bartender, you know, just looking to get everybody drunk and just pouring up everything and then just not being mindful of the people that they're serving, not taking that true care and, and um, responsibility because it is a responsibility on our part. We're like, we're serving a toxic drink. I mean, yeah, we're serving it to adults and everybody um, should be responsible for themselves, but so there can be some bartenders that are looking to pour that extra shot because they gonna get that extra tip or whatever the case may be. Like you want somebody that's gonna truly be responsible for you and your guest. So a tip certification or some sort of like responsible serving certificate, 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 <laughs> some sort of like responsible serving certificate, um, I think, would be beneficial and when it comes to hiring a, a bar service. Now they don't necessarily have to have like the actual piece of paper, the actual certificate to say like, hey, I took this course. But you know, if you want to, when you go to have a conversation um, with your potential bar service, you can, you know, ask them like, hey, how do you guys handle, you know, I, I don't know, you can list the scenarios. Like, how do you guys handle intoxicated guests? Are you responsible servers? Are like, ho like, how do you do whatever it is that you do? I don't know, you can ask them. But it's a lot easier if you just hire a bar service that just has a certificate and then you pretty much know what you're getting. Like, you, they took the course, they have the certificate, they have the proof, and easy day. Next thing is insurance. I mean... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie like I started like when I first started mobile bar I didn't even think I didn't even think about insurance like because like when you're a bartender like you we work at like brick and mortars so 
you know, that, that, that type of stuff like happens under the roof of the business in which we're working, like the entity in which we're working for. Right. But when you go to hire like a bartending service for at least from our perspective as bartenders, when you go to hire like us, it doesn't occur to like, to like get insurance, 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 insurance. <laughs> It doesn't occur to get insurance and I'm only saying that because when I first started I did not have insurance but you know as time went on and you know I started gaining knowledge in certain areas okay get insurance and it was really a no-brainer because like like I said bartending is a liability it's a responsibility a lot of people look at it as like fun and hunky-dory and oh let's have a good time and get drunk and party but the person serving that alcohol is responsible for those people that they're serving to. Like, that's just what it is. It, in some cases, like, we can be held liable for the fact that you as a grown-up went out and got in your car after drinking, I don't know, five shots of Jack Dan shot five, <laughs> five shots of Jack Daniels, and you couldn't handle it. And now you're going to go drive trying to get home because you feel sick and then you don't make it home because you're drunk. And then you go crash your car and then guess what? They're looking at, okay, well, where did this person get this alcohol from? Who served you? And blah, 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 blah. So if you're a mobile bartender, actually, if you're a bartender starting out watching this video for whatever reason, get you insurance because you can be held liable for things that other grown-ups do. You serve them the alcohol and that's just kind of like the field that we're in. At the very least, it's a certain level of peace of mind. It doesn't have to ever be that dark. It really doesn't. I thankfully, thankfully, gratefully have um, always been like in really good standing with everybody that we serve. Um, anytime that somebody does get super drunk, it's not a situation to where it goes that far. Um, we usually catch it before it gets out of hand. There's there's steps. And this is why um, safe serving certifications are important because it, it helps you understand, plan ahead when, if, if, though, if and when, if those types of things were to occur. So I know I'm probably all over the place but I'm trying to explain to people like what to look for in a mobile bar service but this is also for people who are interested in becoming a mobile bartender this information is for you too because this is a, a good way to to start out set, set a solid foundation for your business these are things that I learned over time I didn't start I didn't start this stuff like straight from the beginning off the, at the beginning I I didn't have any of this stuff this is stuff that I three, four, five years later <laughs> that I'm like realizing, oh my God, I hate that. Okay. Choose a bar service that has insurance, general liability and liquor liability. Rewinding back to what I said about the venue, some venues won't even allow you to have a bartender without insurance. That bartender that you hire has to have insurance, which before you even go to hire your bartender so say like okay you got the venue and you have an understanding of what you're going to do and all these different things before you put down a, dep a deposit for that bartending service you talk to them you love them you know you like what they do you put down your deposit then you know you get on to like almost to your event date mind you you probably booked them like you probably booked them like six six months maybe even a year in advance some people have booked us like a year in advance and you know we get three weeks prior to the event and they're like oh hey my venue needs your insurance and to be blah blah blah, blah, blah. and i'm like you're just now asking me for this <laughs> I mean, it's like we hold it, we keep it, we have it, but to ask for it, like, what if I didn't have it? Because there's been a time where it's like, I didn't have it. And that's how I ended up with insurance. Because I was like, insurance? What you mean insurance? I don't have insurance. So I go to look it up and I'm like, I don't even see bartender's insurance. And then like later down the line, you know, you know things happen, but um, you know, you get insurance and then, um, then you're all good but like don't wait to the last minute to ask your bar service for their insurance information like that's something you get from the beginning business licensing if your venue requires it 
uh, general and liquor liability if your venue requires it. But if you are, regardless of whether your venue requires it or not, whether you're having it at a venue that requires it, whether or not you're having it at a home where you don't think it matters, I personally believe that you should get a bartender that has insurance. And if you're a bartender, a mobile bartender watching this and you don't have insurance, girl, dude, get insurance. Just get it. It's, I mean, you can find it. I, look up bartender's insurance you can find it less than a hundred dollars a month get insurance it's just that peace of mind i'm like peace of mind i like peace of mind personally if you don't care about having peace of mind that's your own business but i'm telling you get insurance and if you're watching this and you don't get insurance after this knock on wood but something might happen where you gonna wish you listened to britney at that moment in time and got yourself some insurance i'm just saying so i think that's it <laughs> I'm trying to relay some information based on frequently asked questions that i get i'm not able to answer them all because i'm i mean i'm running a business i'm a single mom to a vegan homeschool five-year-old there's a lot going on on this end so these videos are more so to answer everybody's question at once this is just to be as as helpful as possible to all who care if you are in the atlanta area um, if you live in the state of Georgia and you are looking for mobile bartending services, um, Milk and Honey Bartending, um, the link is down below in the, in the description. Um, if you're looking for mobile bartending services, we are a sustainable and eco-friendly mobile bartending service. We specialize in organic craft cocktails, um, providing fresh organic cocktail ingredients for private parties and events. So just go to our website. Um, there is a um, inquiry form where you can just put in what I just um, went over as far as like your event details, put in your event details, um, send it off, and then you will receive a quote via email if you want to like schedule a call, you can do that too. Um, there are really dope, awesome mobile bartending services all over. So wherever you are, just, just, just look it up, just Google it. Um, and I'm sure you'll find something, but I think that if you kind of stay within the guidelines of what we just went over in the video, what I just went over in the video, you will find, um, what it is that you need and what it is that you're looking for. That budget though, like be realistic about your budget. I hope that you got some valuable information. If you did actually give this video a thumbs up, boom, that's how you know. That's how you know. Let me know. Let me know. If you still have any questions that you feel like I didn't answer, if you got confused by anything that I say, cause like comment down below and then I will do my best to answer them. Um, and if you want, subscribe. If you like these kind of videos and you wanna see more of mobile bartending content, subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post another video. So the bell notification will be your helpful tool and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.